Bible says, for two or more are gathered in his name. That's what he said. There he is. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's here. God is amazing. Yes. I want to first, and I know she didn't ask me to do this, but at step of faith, uh, what is our what is our mission statement? Three or three letters. Love, reach, teach. L R T. Real yeah, simple. Yeah, I can call a five year old in here, and she'll tell us what the vision and mission statement for our church is. Love with the unconditional love of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Reach out reach. and find needs that we can do to exhibit yeah. that love. Yes. And last but not least, yes. earn the right yes. to say, come follow me. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Say that. We have a visitor, hopefully, in the name of Jesus, by faith, another member Amen. of our body, Amen. Mr. Bear, and she bought alone her beautiful daughter, mm -hmm. Melody. And Melody goes to Ariana's school. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So I don't know how this all joined in, but I sort of believe that the little missionary back there, yeah, yeah. Ariana, <laughs> has been promoting the yeah. place where she worships at. Yeah. So let's give Miss Kamara and Melody a yeah. 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 for coming. Mama's in good health today. Yes. I miss you. I miss you. And I thank you and love you. Amen. You've been there from day one. Not too many people can come and be a part of the vision when it's in your kitchen. That's right. Usually they wait until it's big over there. But I thank each and every one of you <laughs> that you could have been to any other church this morning, but you chose to come and worship with us. Yes. And I'm eternally grateful yep. for that. As God is first. Amen. God Amen. God. Does how many remember the message from last week? Yes. Okay. To bring it up yes. to bring it up to code. Sweet. We were talking about ten lepers. Lepers. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. The ten lepers who were in need of being clean. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So do you mind if we go back there and revisit that this mm -hmm. morning? Go no. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let's, Let's visit. We're going to be looking through the eyes of St. Luke. Okay. Chapter 17, verses 12 and 13. Yes. Yeah. If you don't have anything to write with, my wife, First Lady, Miss Gina, will assist you with something to write with. Yeah. Amen. Amen. By the way, you people look beautiful this morning. So do you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 17, verse. 12 and 13. When you're there, say, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. If you're not there, say, wait just one minute. Wait just one minute. Because I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 12 and 13 reads. Maybe I'll start at verse 11. Go one, go one up. Okay. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Verse yeah. 12. Mm -hmm. Then as he entered a certain village, mm -hmm. there met him ten men who were lepers, mm -hmm. who stood afar off. Mm -hmm. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, yeah. Master. Have mercy on us. Uh -huh. Father God, I thank you this morning Praise that you your Lord. word is immutable, is infallible. I thank you, Lord, that all type of 
atheists have tried to pick it apart, have looked for discrepancies, but you said that heaven and earth will pass away. Yeah, but, but your word would stand forever. Yeah. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Mother Carmen just came in this morning. I couldn't help but to notice that smile. And you got a haircut. You look stunning this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Miss Maria, so, God bless you. Praise the Lord. We're in Luke chapter 17, 17, verses 12 and 13. I'll read it for you to get there again. For those who just read it with me, we're going to exercise a little patience. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Verse 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. 17. Then as he entered a certain 17. village, there met him ten men who were lepers, mm -hmm. who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, mm -hmm. Master, yeah. have mercy on us. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. One thing that I want you to notice is that these lepers asked for pity and mercy. Yes. yes. Which was a familiar cry that they had been uttering since they were diagnosed with leprosy. Come on. Uh -huh. As well as being cast out of the village. <coughs> yes. Having leprosy was almost worse than having HIV. Mm. Come on. Because at least with HIV, you can hang around your relatives. Mm -hmm. At least with HIV, you can go to the doctor. At least with HIV, you can hang out with your friends. Yeah. They might not kiss you. They yeah. might not drink behind you. But, 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 but you know, you yeah. can still have some type of socialization yeah. Yeah. with HIV. But not so with leprosy. No. Leprosy, you had to stay a, a, so many a distance away from people. You were excommunicated mm -hmm. from family. You were excommunicated from the social folk. And don't let the wind blow. If the wind blow, you had to stay 150 feet away from anybody just in case the wind blew and blew the leprosy towards them. <laughs> right. If that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough humiliation, the leprosy, leprosy person would have to announce, I'm clean! Mm. I'm clean. They would have to give the people a notice that they're coming. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. They came to Jesus mm -hmm. together. Yes. And they prayed together. Mm -hmm. Even though they were a mixed group yes. of Jews and Samaritans. Yes. The Jews viewed the Samaritans as half-breeds. Yes. Another yes. name for them, they called them dogs. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine God's people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, they were linked together. The Jews and the Samaritans who had leprosy were linked together by their misery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their national and other prejudices vanished yeah. as they came together in prayer. Somebody talk to me. Come on. Come on. Say that. Say that. A common misfortune. Misfortune which was their condition of leprosy had broken down the racial and national barriers. Yes, say that, come on. In the common tragedy of their leprosy, they had forgotten they were Jews and Samaritans mm -hmm. and remembered yes. only they were men in need. Yeah, 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 come on now, come My on. My dear brothers and sisters, don't be surprised when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. It might be an opportunity for family members uh, who hold grudges, uh, the black sheep of the family, mm -hmm. the outcasts of your family, mm -hmm. to come together in a spirit of unity to watch the king of kings mm -hmm. work out some situation yeah. in your life. That's yeah. right, yeah. that's right, yeah. that's right. Because the Bible says in Matthew, Chapter 18, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Again, I tell you truly mm -hmm. that if two of you on the earth agree about anything, yes. somebody say anything, anything. anything, you ask for, it will be done for you 
by my Father in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. That gets me excited. You know, you know, I might pray by myself, yeah. and it might be a little wishy-washy, yeah. but if I can just get one yeah. more yeah. person yeah. to be in agreement with yeah. me, my daddy, yeah. our father, said it yeah. shall be. tragedy, mm -hmm. the devil knows the power that's in God's people when yes. we are in agreement. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so at times of trouble, at times of death, at times of conflict, mm -hmm. Satan yeah. will bring up past hurts, mm -hmm. past offenses, yeah. past grudges, yes to break up the power of agreement. Mm. Mm -hmm. let, me ex let me explain that a little further. Um, my family, when we've been unfortunate enough to experience death, they come together and how they mourn is a little bit different than other families. You know, most families console each other and they're so happy to see people, but not my family. My family utilized this uh, this getting together gathering to, 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 to have outbursts with other members. Mm -hmm. They tell them what they really think about them. Well, you just hung around mama because you thought the house was going to be in your name. <laughs> oh, you mad because the insurance money ain't coming to you. Oh, I don't know why you trying to come here and act like you running everything. When was the last time you visited mama? Yeah, See, yeah, I don't know about your family, yeah, just yeah, my family. Just my family. And I'm not going to send this video to my family because I'm sure they're going to tell me about myself. Uh, but the devil will use that. He yeah. will use yeah. that yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. we can come together and receive some reconciliation, a little healing. Yeah. But he uses that as a platform to yeah. bring us out of yeah. agreement. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But one thing that I noticed as we read this text, that these lepers, mm -hmm. they didn't ask for healing. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Mm -hmm. You know what they asked for? Pity. For pity yeah. mm -hmm. and mercy. Mm -hmm. For whatever Jesus might give them, mm -hmm. food, clothing, mm -hmm. shelter, mm -hmm. or whatever else he decided to offer. Yeah. See, they have heard of Jesus' reputation for compassion. But my question this morning is, do the lepers really ask for and expect healing? Yeah. The text, at least, doesn't indicate so. No. My brothers and sisters, the lepers were used to other people providing for them. Mm -hmm what they couldn't provide for themselves. Yeah. Amen. And so, you know, the person that I am, I'm uh, inquisitive, AKA nosy. Um, you know, but, and you know, when I look at the word, I want to look at why this was done, where did they do this, and how did they do it? So, so I, I just wondered this morning, as I was writing this out, you're getting this fresh off the press from the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's good, that's good. As I was wondering this morning, you know, that maybe the lepers didn't ask to be cleansed mm -hmm. from their condition mm -hmm. because although they were alienated from the common folk, yeah. their needs were met. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, say that. Although the lepers had to tell their sad story over and over again, mm -hmm. they ate supper. Mm -hmm. You see, although the lepers were talked about by others, they received help. Yeah, come on. Even <laughs> though the lepers were considered unclean, mm -hmm. people had pity mm -hmm. on Thank their Thank you, situation. Father God. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yes. You see, if the lepers were to be healed well. of their disease, well. some changes, meaning their cure of leprosy, mm -hmm. some changes would need to take place. Yes. Are you with me this morning? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Say that. You see, there would be no reason for them to sit around the gate <clears throat> and ask people for mercy and handouts. Yeah. Because they would be able to work. Yeah, watch it. Without the leprosy, there would be no more pity. Come on. You see, without the leprosy, there would be no more room for excuses. Mm -mm. Ouch. Oh. Mm -hmm. You see, without the leprosy, the ten lepers could not expect anyone beside themselves to be responsible for their lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Come so on. maybe, maybe this leprosy mm -hmm. wasn't all that bad. Mm -hmm. Because the ten lepers had a reason why their lives were in shambles. Mm -hmm. Like the lepers, some of God's people oh. have reasons as to why we can't get involved in ministry. Mm -hmm. well. mm -hmm. I'm too old. Oh. I'm too busy. Well. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling that my involvement will make that much of a difference. Come on. But sometimes God, who is the king of heaven, yeah. will take away your excuses. Yeah. 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 He will take away your excuses mm -hmm. to get to the heart of the matter. Yes. 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 How do I know that? Mm. You guys are so inquisitive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How do I know that? I 2016, know. I worked at a urgent psychiatric facility as a supervisor. Mm -hmm. And during a takedown, which is um, when you try to yeah. uh, restrain a person, mm -hmm. this guy was on meth, uh, bath, salt, and spice, mm -hmm. which rendered him demonic strong. Mm -hmm. And it took five of us to hold this man down. Mm -hmm. And in the process of holding him down, um, I had a disc that um, was out of place in my back, right? So you gotta understand my train of logic before this event happened. Oh God, if only I had more time, I would, I would answer your calling on my life. Oh God, if I just could be rid of this financial problem, you said if a man don't, don't work, you don't eat. So if I could just rid myself of this financial problem, I would be able to serve your kingdom. You see, but uh, God made a way to make sure I had ample amount of time. Yes, he Took did. Took away the job. Yes, he did. And then, with my financial reason, he supplied finances for, am I lying? Nope. So he said, Mr. James, I've heard your excuses on not having time because of your job. Yep. I've heard your excuses on not having enough money to take care of your family so that you can perform the ministry and the purpose for your life. Mm -hmm. So now that I've taken away your excuses, <laughs> what are you going to do now? Yep. Come on. Amen. What Amen. are you going to do now? I'm talking about me, not y'all. Mm -hmm. No, no. I'm, we, we, you know, I'm, this this message is for the folks across the street, not for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Verse fourteen mm -hmm. in our text. You must understand that the significance of the priest in Jesus's instruction is that only the priest according to the Jewish law, yeah. could declare a person healed of leprosy. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Only the priest could, could say a person was clean and fit to re-enter society. Yeah. Where are you getting that from, Pastor? Later on tonight, read Leviticus chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they must go to receive a clean bill of health from the official who can grant it. Mm -hmm. The word translated cleansed here and in verse 17 is the Greek word katatharizo. Katatharizo. That's K-A-T-H-A-R-I-Z-O. Mm -hmm. So the Greek word translated for cleansed 
Here and in verse 17 is the Greek word katatherizo. Mm -hmm. To heal a person of a disease that makes one ceremoniously unclean. To, to, uh, so it means to make clean, to heal, especially <laughs> of leprosy, mm -hmm. right? The priests lived together in villages, and there was priest villages nearby in most areas of Palestine. Mm -hmm. Similar to what we see today, there is a church or a religious setting on nearly every corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally, in the going, when Jesus told them to go, mm -hmm. they were cleansed. Yeah. There came a point as they began to obey Jesus that their healing took place. Yes. And yes. as they walked out the commandment of Jesus, mm, mm, mm. you yeah. see, if they had not walked out this commandment, had they disbelieved Jesus yeah. and laughed at his command as being illogical, they wouldn't have been healed. That's right. But they believed him. That is, they used their faith. Somebody say, use your faith. Use, use your faith. faith. And because they use their faith, they receive their healing as a result. Sometimes we pray and ask God the king, or we petition God for all sorts of requests, ranging from healing, prosperity, family members being delivered from addiction, overeating, gluttony, to restoring family relationships. But if we are unwilling to walk out the command that Jesus gives yes. us in his word, what we're praying for is invalid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? Because our good brother James says in 2.17, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. <clears throat> You see, faith is exhibited in what we do. You see, you exhibited faith this morning when you sat down on this pew. How many of us, before we sat down on the pew, did you examine the legs to make sure they were strong enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. But by faith, you just flopped down on them yeah. and thought it would hold you, right? Yeah. That's faith. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Because these leopards believed, they began to obey and go to the village where the priests lived. Mm -hmm. Now, as Jesus' brother James already said, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at verse 15 and 16. Looking at this leper, looking at one of his comrades, a leper probably said something like, where is your leprosy? Your face is clean enough. Mm. The skin of your hands is soft and even. Mm -hmm. Then all of them began to examine themselves. And sure enough, they are healed. Amen. What a celebration mm -hmm. breaks out as mm -hmm. they continue toward the priest village. Mm -hmm. All 10 of the lepers realize they are healed. Yes. Yes. But only one, one. comes all the way back to Jesus. Yeah. Praising God yeah. for his mercy yeah. and healing him. Yeah. While the rest of the lepers, all nine of them, started toward the priests. The priest. They, all ten of the lepers, though, received a healing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And that's where their shared aims or their continuity or their or their camaraderie was broken. Yeah. Yeah. Nine went to go to the priest to show themselves uh, uh, clean and one went back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice the lifting up their voices in verse 13. The lepers have called out loudly to ask for mercy. Mm -hmm. But only one leper offers a loud thank you and praise mm -hmm. in verse 15. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Footnote. Religious people will shout, cry, holler, yell, and scream <laughs> for Jesus to answer their prayer. Well. Or to come through for their needs. Mm -hmm. 
But as soon as the Lord comes through and grants their requests, the same folks who were loud will get silent when it comes to praising God for answered mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. They'll get easily distracted during a worship service or the spirit of drowsiness will overtake them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they'll say something like, it doesn't take all that because God already hears you. Well, if that's the case, why were you screaming and yelling and crying when you had the urgent need? Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. As Arsenio Hall said, things that make you say, hmm. Mm. <laughs> Anybody knows who that is. <laughs> but this one leper, <laughs> he stopped in his tracks, yes. spun around, and came back full of joy. Mm -hmm. He's trying to process what this meant. Think about all the implications of the clean lepers now being able to go back home. The clean lepers now being able to go back to their family. These clean lepers now being able to go back to their friends. These clean lepers now being able to go back to their life. Yeah. But this one leper, he saw more than just a physical healing. He saw, a, he saw a lot more than that. He understood the real implication of what had just happened. And what was that? Uh -huh. He had been in the presence of God. Yeah. And he wanted more than just a physical healing. Oh, yeah. thank you, yeah. Jesus. He went back embracing the full potential of getting from God what he knew he really needed. Uh -huh. His heart was longing for a relationship with the divine Amen. healer, yeah. Amen. a.k.a. Jesus. Jesus. He wanted to give himself to this divine healer. Amen. He wanted to fall on his face mm. beneath that divine healer mm. as a recognized mm. sinner mm. 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 and worship and adore him as well as praise him and thank him. He wanted something more than just a physical healing. He knew enough about the Old Testament to know that God was not just a healer, but he was a redeemer. Not only was he a redeemer, but he was a savior. So this leper who was cleansed, he's not content with just the physical. Mm -hmm. He wants a relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus. Yeah. How many of us want a relationship with yeah. Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now, my question is, you know, because I'm nosy. Let's call it what it is. I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other nine <laughs> lepers who were cleansed? What are they doing? Good mm -hmm. question. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're moving toward the priests. Mm -hmm. right. Maybe they're thinking, we're going to go, we're clean, the priest is going to see it, we're clean, yeah. then we're going to the temple. Yes, sir, we're going to the temple because you ultimately must go there to make the sacrifice that are required of one who's been cleansed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even in being cleansed, religion said you still got to make an offering. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, this is what they said, we're going to the temple. And when we get to the temple, sure we're grateful, sure we're excited, sure we're enthusiastic. This was an unbelievable thing. When we get to the temple, well, we'll worship God there at the temple. Uh, uh, where we should worship God, and that's in the temple. We'll thank God there, and we'll praise God when we get to the place where God dwells. Watch it now. Yeah. Guess yeah. what? God doesn't <laughs> dwell in that temple. No. God has hadn't been in that temple in a long, long time. No. If you recall in 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 21 and 22, Ichabod was written on the temple long ago when the glory had departed the temple. Yeah. 
So that was a defected temple, and inside of the defected temple was a defected form of religion. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm wow. closing. I'm closing. Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 21, he says, the time is coming. When you won't worship God in Jerusalem or in Mount Gerizim. Yeah. Because you're going to worship God in spirit and mm -hmm. in truth. truth. Amen. Woo! You guys feel with that Holy Ghost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're going to worship him from the heart, any place. But most significantly, this one healed leper knew where to worship God. Yeah, he Hallelujah. Amen. He knew where God really dwelt. And where God really dwelt was in Jesus Christ. That's right. That was the real temple. Real. He goes back to the true temple of God. Yeah. He recognizes that wherever the compassion of God is, God's there. Wherever the power of God is, God is there. Yeah. Wherever the grace of God is, yes. Yes. God, God, is God, God is there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where Jesus <laughs> and that's where Jesus is and so that's where God is. Jesus mm -hmm. is the true temple. Amen. God doesn't dwell in Jerusalem. He dwells in Jesus. Amen. And this one cleansed leper knows it. And he also knows that God offers more than just a physical healing. That isn't the real issue in the leper's life. That's only a temporary detail. Uh, he returns to Jesus not just to be thankful for healing. He returns to seek what his soul desires and needed, which was to be in right standing with the king, a.k.a. salvation. Yeah. Amen. How do I know that? Because that's exactly what Jesus gave him. And here's the punchline. Punch. <laughs> Jesus says, it says, and this one leper, he was a Samaritan. Mm -hmm. The least likely from a Jewish viewpoint to be healed. Yeah, yeah. He was an outcast. Yeah. The only reason that he could associate with Jews at all was because they were all lepers. That's right. yeah. And their common mi misery tore down their normal social separation. Yeah, yeah. I'm closing, y'all. Come on. Verse 17 and 18. Yeah. Jesus answered and said, with three rhetorical questions that drive home an important point of ingratitude and indifference. Yeah. Jesus asked, were there not ten cleansed? Mm -hmm. But where are the nine? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Yes. Yeah. Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except for this foreigner. In other words, it would read like this in the original. But the nine, they are where? They ought to be here. <laughs> they're where? No answer. Presumably, they're on their way to the priest. They don't have any interest in Jesus anymore. They have no interest in the kingdom of God. They've got what they wanted out of him. They're very shallow and superficial. Yeah. They have no desire to worship him. No desire to glorify him. Yeah. No desire to thank him. Him. They don't see him as God. They don't fall down and give to him what you only give to God, who is the king of the kingdom. They don't glorify him as God. And again, we're face to face with this dominant attitude amongst these people that we see all through the ministry of Jesus. Yeah. We are the people of God. Yeah. And yeah. God has given us what we deserve. Yeah. Our souls are fine. Yeah. Uh, no sense of sin. Yeah. They're like the rich young ruler. Yeah. No sense of remorse. Yeah. No sense of desperation. Yeah. No, no, no sense of repentance. Uh, please. 
I gave my life to Jesus 10 years ago. Yeah. Gone somewhere with that repentance. <laughs> <laughs> they are not looking from for a savior from sin. They're looking for a spiritual Santa Claus. They're looking for somebody who fed them food. They're looking for somebody who heals the ones with diseases. They're looking for the one who raised the dead. They'll take that. They'll take the food. They'll take the healing. They'll take all that. But they don't want anything else. No. And we got a lot of people in the religious world today who are offering this kind of Jesus. But this one man knew he needed a savior. Mm -hmm. He couldn't shake the conviction mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. He knew he had come face to face with God and his soul was traumatized. Mm -hmm. He knew he was a sinner, but he knew that God had showed him mercy and compassion and kindness and power. He could process the implications of what just happened. The others, the nine, hard-hearted, entitled, satisfied with themselves, sought nothing more from Jesus and went back to their religion. Mm -hmm. And you know, the truth is, he really doesn't have anything, meaning Jesus, to offer you and I on a permanent basis unless it's eternal life and salvation. Mm -hmm. If you don't come to him for that, you cheat yourself Amen. of what he really came to bring, which is the kingdom and to restore the kingdom's authority in mankind. Yes. yes. The one leper, he wanted a relationship with Jesus. Relationship. The nine said by their actions, no thanks on the relationship. Mm. We'll just settle for some religion. Mm. And then he asked the third question. Was no one found who turned back to give glory to God except this foreigner? Nobody came back except this man of another race. It reminds me of John chapter 1 verses 11. He came to his own, his own received him not. Footnote, if you are going to be an ambassador of the kingdom of God, you have to learn how to live with people that have no desire to say thank you. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that again. If you are going to be an ambassador of the kingdom of God, you have to learn how to live with people that have no desire to say thank you. You have to learn how to use your God-given gift for people and be prepared for those same people to not show any appreciation. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Paul tells us why we can operate like this. In Colossians 3.23, the, the apostle says, whatever you are doing, let your hearts be in your work mm -hmm. as a thing done for the Lord and yeah. not for me. Mm -hmm. Paul states in another letter, Galatians 1.10, <laughs> am I saying this now to win the approval of people or of God? Yeah. Wow. Am I trying to please people? If I were trying to please people, I would not be Christ's servant. Amen. You see, I can't determine what I'm going to preach based upon the offering of the people. That's I right. cannot That's determine right. what I'm going to preach based upon the letters that you send me on what I should preach on. I have to 